This video will show you how to save an entire course or any folder to your resource area. So here I am on the materials page in one of my courses. I'm going to click on this options button here and then select save to resources. In the little pop-up folder, home is the default and that will save this to your personal resource area. You can also choose an alternate location by clicking on the down arrows and you'll get a list of all of the um, resource areas in which you are an admin. You can only save to areas where you're an admin. So for example, the Amtrak teacher resource area, if you want to save there and share with, um, with your co-teachers you, or the CAMS teacher resource area, um, you need to be an admin in order to do that. At the very least, uh, keep it going to home, which will be in your personal area. You can then move it from that area to any other resource area later on. When you um, save to resources, the um, course is stripped down, which means that the um, uh, dates are removed and any online discussions and comments and updates are all removed. And you just get a basic, clean uh, uh, course to start over with. So once you do that, uh, once you've selected the correct location, click Submit, and that course will be saved to your resources. I'm going to cancel this out right now. So you can, sub, uh, you can save your course um, more than once. So maybe you write your course and then you save it at the beginning, and then you might want to save it again at the end in case you've made any um, updates or edits. You can also save any folder to your resources by clicking on this little gear icon. Select Save to Resources here, and you get that same little pop-up window uh, and the choice to either save it to your personal resources or to choose one of the group um, to, in which you're an admin. Notice that in this case you, you get, um, I've clicked on this uh, week one folder and it's actually showing me the various items that are in there. And then I would click Save a Copy, and it would save a copy of those items to my resource folder. So remember when you um, save your resources, you get a clean, stripped down version with no dates, no um, uh, posts, no updates, uh, comments from your students. Uh, if you're saving your entire course, your students will all be removed from the gradebook. But remember that you also your course will also be archived, and the archive is a complete picture of your course at the end of the grading period. So grades are retained comments, updates, everything is retained, and that remains there indefinitely. So you can always go back and look and see what happened um, during that course. You can check grades, you can check um, comments or uh, that your students made. That remains intact in the archived area.